Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 703, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's Saturday, and on Saturday we do two things. We say our prayers, Saturday morning prayer breakfast, and we talk about being savages. That's what we're going to do today. It is September 19th, 2020. It's a work day. I've been up for a couple hours working, right? Let's get a, let's get the rest of our work done. First things first, still the realest. You know what else I am? I'm done. Yeah, I'm done hiding my savage so that other people feel more comfortable. And you know what happens? They always come back. And they don't come back and say, hey, thanks, Rob, for treating us with respect and for giving us an opportunity. They're like, no, you treated me with respect. I didn't do my job. I whined. I'm lazy. I didn't do my work. And you owe me more. And you should continue to behave like you served me. Yeah, no. Right. Right. No, I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. Like, we're not going to play that game anymore. We're going to ramp it up, and people are either going to get on board or they're going to get out the way, right? Remember this one from yesterday? Like, thinking that the world's going to be fair because you were fair to it ain't going to happen, right? So, I'm done. I'm done acting like that little lamb running around, and then the tiger comes, and usually it's not a tiger. It's like a kitty cat coming yelling at you like a tiger. Like, look, who you think the, who you think the lion is around here? It ain't you. I'm done acting like, no, we are done. Let's get to our Saturday morning prayer breakfast. 34th week in a row, primarily. Last week, a little debatable, but I'm going to give myself the benefit of that. 34 weeks in a row. With that, let's do it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, into, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So number one, look, Sissy painted some of that for me. I love it. Um, and you know how much I love this prayer. So you tell me, where in that prayer does it say I have to be a victim? That I have to drop my dominance and let other people take advantage of me? Yeah, no. Not at all. Now, I'm asking for the ability to forgive people who haven't asked me for forgiveness. And I'm telling you, I'm not at that level. I don't think I ever want to be at that level. Um, maybe I'll change my mind, but yeah, I'm just not interested. So anyway, uh, great prayer. Thank you for everything. As a matter of fact, let's just do our thank yous and we'll be done for the day. Number one, God is good. He's been good to us in the good times and the bad. We will look back on the days where we've had adversity in our life and see with the benefit of hindsight of where God had his hand in what we were doing. Number two, I'm thankful for LeBron James, right? Did you see LeBron last night? Number one, they put the smack down on Denver, right? Like, I, th I feel like Denver's kind of like Portland was. That was a great story until they came in touch with the Lakers. And then they announced the MVP last night, won LeBron. And so he admitted, he's like, yeah, I'm pissed. Like, are, are we watching basketball or what, what are we doing here? Because this guy that they gave the MVP to, Giannis, right? The one who's acting like he's putting the crown on his head. Yeah. Tell me what he's done the last two years. Hasn't made it to the finals, right? So he's he's like Peyton Manning. Great, great regular season stats. Congratulations. When it matters most, you're on vacation. LeBron's still playing. LeBron's the MVP. I'm thankful for the NBA. I love the storylines. Stop lying to yourselves. LeBron's the MVP. And LeBron's better than Michael Jordan for all you Jordan people out there. Come on, Jackie. Come here, Bubba. Thankful for the Lakers and the, and the Nuggies. That's a good series. I'm thankful for uh, the Bennington family, number 44, for everything you guys have done, including introducing me to Saturday morning prayer breakfast. I'm thankful for the Indian Nations football conference that put together the schedule we're going to play today. Uh, Sam's going to play. He's going to play some snaps. Sissy's going to cheer. I'm thankful for the truth, like with LeBron and some of the stuff that goes on. It doesn't matter what people say. Just because people say it doesn't mean it's true. Just because Giannis wins the MVP doesn't mean he's the most valuable player. He's not. It's LeBron. I'm thankful that fall weather is here. It's football season. I'm thankful for what today brings, whatever tomorrow brings. I'm thankful for it all. Right? With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a Savage Saturday. We'll be back tomorrow on a Sunday fun day. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. We're going to go get our first win down there. Jake's, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Love you guys. Come by, Jack.